Hello and welcome to our Thought for the Week from St Peter's Church, Elworth. My name is David and I'm part of the leadership team at St Peter's. We've been posting Facebook videos throughout this time of pandemic to encourage and keep us focused, journeying with Jesus every day of our lives. In past summers, many of us have been on long journeys and as the hours have passed, an increasingly frequent refrain has often come from younger members of our travelling parties. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Or is the journey finished? Is a thought which is in the mind of many of us as we enter the fifth month of COVID-19 restrictions. Are we there yet? Is also a refrain we hear in the Bible time and time again, whether it be from the people of Israel travelling with Moses to the Promised Land in the Old Testament, or the disciples of Jesus, impatient to see him remove the Romans from power, take on the throne of Israel and establish the promised nation of one people living in one land, worshipping one God forever. Is the journey finished for us, followers of Jesus in the 21st century? Are we there yet? In one way we are, because Jesus' death on the cross defeated sin once and for all time. And through faith in Jesus, we have a place with God forever. But as James reminds us in his letter, in chapter 2, verse 17, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accomplished by action, is dead. In that second way, the journey is not yet over. Our faith has to be lived out every day. The great Protestant reformer Martin Luther reminded us that it is because of our faith we do good deeds, not that our, our good works earn us a reward from God. The journey of faith has a definite and certain wonderful end. But all the time we draw breath here on earth, we are called to journey in the power of the Holy Spirit and the name of Jesus. The journey sometimes may be tough, but we are not alone. God is with us and our brothers and sisters in Christ, the church, are also with us. Also, we need to remember what our destination is like, that it is in the wonderful presence of God. So, stay safe and God bless.